Here's an example of using the big kinematics equation. Uh, let's look back at that thrown chalk. Before we talked about it, threw down the chalk at 2 meters per second. How fast did it go after a uh, half second? Now the question is, how far did it go in a half second? We could ask that question as well. So let's think about the experiment. Well, first I need to do it, but we're on a limited budget. Let me get a short piece of chalk here. So we're going to throw it down at 2 meters per second. How far does it go in half second? So always draw it, right? So here's the chalk. Throw it down. Start at the origin. It's going to have an initial vi of 2 meters per second, initial velocity. And it's going to start at the origin and go down. And that's positive because, as always, well, not always, but in most of these lectures for the moment, positive x is down. Start at the origin. That's what we're describing. So really, you just describe uh, that equation. xf is xi plus vit t plus 1 half a t squared. All right. So let's just plug in see what we get. Uh, the initial position is 0. I'm assuming I released it right at the origin. All right, so 0. The initial velocity is 2 meters per second. And the time we're talking about is a half second, so 2 times 0.5. So the initial velocity is going to make it go a meter. But then it's also accelerating down at 9.8 and then 0.5 seconds squared. So you just plug in your numbers, right? This is about 1. This is about an eighth of 10, which is about 1.25. So you add these together, and sure enough, the exact number is 2.225 meters. So the only tricky thing here is you got to think about you get all these signs right. right? Here everything was positive because everything was down. What if we did the opposite? What if we thr uh, throw it up? at 2 meters per second. That sounds a little bad, but let's just go with it. We throw it up at 2 meters per second, meaning I'm so happy with the class. Oh, look at that. It goes up. How would this be different? x v, let's see, x final would be the same equation. Initial is still 0, 0 meters per second, um, plus, but now uh, v i is negative, right? Because I threw it up, down is positive. So it would be minus 2. Minus 2 times t is 0.5, All right? And then the acceleration is still down. Gravity is always down. So plus, plus 1 half, 9.8, 0 0.5 squared. And you put all that together, and I get 0 0.225 meters. All right, so different, because now it has, um, now it has uh, threw it the other way. Oh, let's see. We have a question here about this plug and chug problem. Let's see. What are we concerned about here? And it looks like Trenton Boy, shouldn't the final position have been negative, you know, up? Let's see if we can figure out what Trenton Boy is talking about. Shouldn't the final position, I think we did it right. I think, oh, yes. So Trenton, well, that's good. He's using his intuition. Boy, I'll assume it's male. I think that's what boy means. Uh, threw it up, was expecting the displacement to be up. And that's a good guess. And actually, the way I threw it, after half a second, it probably still was up. And up would be a negative number. But the way the numbers worked out, it actually turns out that the acceleration was strong enough that in half a second, it had turned it back down. And it was actually lower. You can actually tell, because this is uh, bringing it uh, down by a meter, or I'm sorry, this would have been pushing it up by a meter, but this is bringing it down by 1.25 meters, or 1.225 meters farther down. So in the end, the acceleration tugged harder. So let me give you a more realistic look. There you go. After a half second, it had made it into the positive, the further down territory. So we did, we did do it right. 